Did you know that you can run Arduino sketches on a Blinkum? Here's an Arduino. It's awesome, but we don't need that. So what is a Blinkum? A Blinkum is a smart LED. It's an RGB LED on the front with a tiny computer on the back. This is Blinkum Classic. Here is the much smaller Blinkum Minim. And here it is powered up with a little uh, 4x AA rechargeable supply. It's running its little light program. And um, so how do you run Arduino on one of these little tiny guys? Well, first you need an AVR programmer. Here's one from Atmel. You can get it from DigiKey for about $35. Here's the uh, USB Tiny kit from, our, from Adafruit. costs about $22. And you can make one for much cheaper even, too. It's a USB device, but it has this 6-pin connector. And you need to adapt that to the 4-pin thing that Blinkum has. Blinkum actually has all six pins. Um, only four of them are populated, though. So you need a small little adapter. I use a breadboard with some header pins on it, like so, and then a small adapter cable made from some jumper wires. Make sure we have power. And now if you've installed the um, Blinkum additions to the Arduino software, then you can go ahead and open up one of the example sketches. Here's one called Blinkum Wino Blink 3 and set the board to be the type of Blinkum you have, in this case a Blinkum AT Tiny 45 with the AVR ISP Mark II programmer. And then just hit upload. If everything is connected, then the Blinkum will blink its blue LED to indicate that it's been programmed. And when it's done, the Arduino sketch will start running on the Blinkum. And you can see that, um, like this sketch uh, describes, it's just flashing the red, green, and blue parts of the, uh, of the Blinkum LEDs. Now, a more complex example is this little assembly here. This is a knob-controlled servo. Here's the wiring diagram. It's pretty simple. And if you look at the sketch for it, it's not too bad. It's mostly just reading an analog in and then doing a pulse out to drive the servo. And here's what it acts like. Also, the blue LEDs being uh, changed in brightness in relation to the, to the uh, knob position. Now, if you want to take your Blinkum back to its factory condition, you can just reflash it with the factory firmware. One way of doing this is with the Blinkum reflasher tool. Pick the type of Blinkum you have and the type of programmer you have, and then click Reflash. Again, the Blinkum will flash its blue LED to indicate it's being programmed, and then in a few seconds, your Blinkum will be back to its nah, factory fresh condition. It even installs the default light script on it again, so it can verify that uh, all the parts of the LED work. And that's pretty much it. If you make a cool project using a Blinkum as an Arduino, let me know. There's lots of cool things you can do to have such a small, small uh, package be an Arduino.